Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another budgeting cash envelope stuffing, whatever you want to call it type of video. We got my CAD, my Canadian cash here, and we also have some exciting news. I got a raise. I got a little bit more extra money. So we're going to go over what I'm going to do with that money, how I'm going to save it, etc, etc. So cash envelope stuffing. There we are. And today is May 31st, so June is coming in hot and heavy. So if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more of these videos. So why don't we start off with divvying everything up into its proper buckets. So hundreds, 10, 20, 50. We got some more 20s in here. Okay, we got a 50, 100, 100, 100, a 50, and then some fives. So. Then we're going to go from the top to the bottom, okay? And then let's write down how much money we have. So one, two, three, four. So we have four times 100. So we have 400. One, two, three. Oh, I got an email. Three times 50. So I have 150. I should probably turn off. Got, oops, too late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight times 20, which is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. Is that right? 160. Yeah, I should have done that easier in my head. That's okay. We have one times 10. And then for fives, we have five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times five is 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There you go, just double checking. I've always been that person. So how much do we have all together? We have 400, 550, uh, 650, 710, 720, 750 is my total. So quite a bit more than what we usually have. So 750 is the amount that we're working with today. So let's write down all of our buckets. So I have big buckets and then they're broken down into smaller buckets. So I have vacation for summer, winter, and spring. Okay. I have car maintenance. I have home maintenance slash decor. I have gifts, weddings, and events. And then I just have some general post-pandy or post-pandemic spending, which also has sub buckets within it. So post-pandy, I have entertainment, beauty, eating out, and close. So let's go over how much I currently have in each bucket and then how much I'm going to add in. I also have some exciting changes to this. We're going to change what is on. So for my summer vacation, I currently have 100. For my winter vacation, I currently have 40. And then for spring of next year, I have 130. For car maintenance, I currently have 100. Home maintenance and decor, I have 350. Gifts, weddings, and events, I have 100. Entertainment, I have 100. Beauty, I have 70. Eating out, I have 150. And clothes, I have 150 as well. Now, in terms of expenditures, the only thing that I've used from here is my clothes. It has decreased. It's 150, but I did actually spend at just under 80, 79 dollars on clothes. So that gives us 70 dollars is how much is currently within it. Okay, so those are the current numbers that we're working with. Let's do some highlighting. Okay, so exciting news. We're doing renovations. 
Mm -hmm. You got it, home maintenance and decor, we're gonna work to increase this number even more. So right now it's at 350. I'm gonna go pretty heavy on it. I think what I'm gonna do is decrease some in my vacation and I'm gonna decrease some, actually probably from most subsections. So for summer vacation, I still wanna front load that because it's in about a month and a half. So I'm gonna do 100 in summer vacation. Plus 100, okay? For winter and spring, I'm actually not going to put anything in right now. Um, we'll see. We're going to do a rough layout and then we'll go in further. Car maintenance, I'm going to keep it at 50. I like doing a, a nice even 50 in there. Okay. And again, I do have about $100 more than usual because your girl got a promotion. She got a pay raise. So that accounts for 150 Gifts, weddings, and events. I'm going to do... Um, so where do I want to put my extra hundred dollars? Maybe I'll put the extra hundred in home maintenance and decor. Gifts, weddings, and events. I think I'm still going to keep another 50 in there. Let's pop that in. Okay. Uh, let's see. Post-pandemic entertainment, beauty, eating out, and clothes. Hmm. How should I do this? Okay, let's see. Entertainment beauty eating out so let's go entertainment man there's so many ways i can do this i'm gonna do another 50 for entertainment for beauty i'm actually gonna put in a hundred i'm gonna go a bit heavier there for beauty Eating out, I'm also going to go a little bit heavier there. Do another 100. Clothes, I'm not going to put anything in there. Because I already spent a bunch. Okay, so now what else do I have? I have vacation for winter and spring, home maintenance and decor. And how much money do I have left? 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, 20. So I have 320 that I can do in home maintenance and decor. Three twenty. That's a bit much to put it all in there. So let's do another two fifty. Okay. One hundred. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, okay? So I have 20, 30, 40, 50. So now I have another 50. Okay, so how do I wanna do this? Maybe 25 and 25? Something like that. Okay, so let's tally it up. So it should come up to 750 all together. So we have 125, 150, 200, I already lost count, 125, 150, 200, so that's 450, so that's 500, 550, 650, 750. So the numbers do work out. So let's count it all up, okay? Let's tally up each subsection. So now for my summer vacation, I'm going to have 200. My winter vacation, I'm gonna have 65. I do this all in my head, by the way. For my spring vacation, I'm gonna have 155. Car maintenance, I'm gonna have 150. Home maintenance and decor, 350, 450, 550, 600. Gifts and weddings, I'm gonna have 150. Post pandy spending, I'm gonna have 150 for entertainment, 170 for beauty. 250 for eating out and then close I have 70 and actually this number might increase again in the case that I return some things I think I probably will we'll have to double check though so these are the numbers that I am playing with right now okay it's so weird because this the whole maintenance number is so big but yeah we're doing renovations so it's just gonna like be decimated really quickly so 
I'm okay with how everything is right now, but I think in the next coming weeks, I'm going to be increasing home maintenance quite a bit. So I'll, I'll take away from maybe the, like pretty much any of the other buckets. I'm pretty comfortable with their size right now. I do want car maintenance to go to about four or $500. That would be ideal and we'll keep it at that number. So then I can remove money from the car maintenance every other week or so. Um, gifts, weddings, and events. I thankfully don't have too many coming up. Um, I was supposed to go to a wedding next week, but I was like, nah, not today. Thank you. And then with this number, like, I really don't know. We're still on a lockdown, so you can't go out to shop and you also can't go out to eat until June 14th, if not later. So I have still two weeks of really no spending in these buckets. Uh, clothes, obviously, you can do online shopping, beauty. I could also do online shopping. But when I think of the beauty category, I'm thinking a little bit more in the sense of like waxing, pedicures, haircuts, facials, etc. Not so much beauty products. Entertainment could really be anything. It could be going to the movies. It could be going to a concert, museum maybe, stuff like that. So that is my final number. So very exciting things that we're looking at. Thanks for joining. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have recommendations for topics, ideas, whatever it may be, let your girl know. I really enjoy doing this actually, and I hope that you do as well. Thanks everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.